guys, uh, welcome back. So, I've been playing around with the importer um, for a little while. And if I can just uh, find myself, oh, there we go. Okay, so I've kind of been playing around with the 3D functions. Uh, I've set up a camera, uh, like a first person camera control, uh, which was a little bit tricky considering in Game Maker Studio. Um, 3D movement has to be coded from scratch and you have 2D functions uh, that you have to work with but I definitely uh, figured out a sort of viable way of doing 3D camera as you can see with my mouse uh, using some of the length direction functions uh, and as you can see I have a UV map this was uh, kind of supposed to be a little church um, that I tried to put together I haven't UV mapped everything in fact like I would probably put way more stuff into it into the texture um, to, to add uh, some wood textures uh, so I could UV map that maybe some uh, some other stuff maybe some marble for the for the floor um, but I actually I just wanted to quickly test whether or not um, the importer is actually working now when I was importing it to the uh, what should I call it when I was uh, trying to convert the model into the uh, the importer or when I opened the model into the importer uh, what happened is I saw some strange artifacts in the actual model um, which was right over here so if I actually let it go through the object file and have it um, you know have it do all the shenanigans uh, in the end, after I copied all the data uh, from the saved location back into the Game Maker Studio game, the first person uh, camera game, uh, it actually turned out quite well. Uh, the artifacts were gone, which you know you'll be able to see in just a second. So as you can see, um, one thing I, you have to consider is that Game Maker Studio is even Game Maker Studio One, uh, Game Maker Studio Two is lacking. In some major 3d functions like uh, you have to rely on DLLs and external libraries in order to do things like for example 3d collisions um, which is uh, you know which is bad because if you use DLLs that means you can't get uh, you can't get your game out to more than the Windows platform um, but um, I have to say there, there, there's so many things that are missing from the 3d uh, 3D aspect of Game Maker Studio because it's able to do it but it wasn't designed to do just that. Uh, for example things like normal maps in 3D um, is a bit of a tricky subject because there are a few uh, like the way the GL, GL, GLSL shaders um, which is the shader format that is used by Game Maker Studio doesn't quite support 3D shaders um, or it doesn't support uh, some of the functions that are used in making like normal maps for 3D environments. There's plenty of shaders that use normal maps for 2D games for sure. Um, 3D normal maps are a bit more tricky to use once again without external DLLs. But as you can see there's a, there's a fog enabled which only affects um, the environment which is why you can't see any of the fog from the outside because that's basically just empty nothingness there's nothing rendered here uh, but you can see that uh, it's it's working you know these lines you see over here I, I simply haven't uh, actually created a proper uh, UV map for these uh, faces and I haven't assigned um, I did not assign a, a texture uh, UV coordinate for those so that's why those are kind of fucked but they're not fucked because uh, y you know because game maker is broken or the model is broken. They're just, you know, I have, I just haven't done UV texture uh, editing uh, in here. I just kind of, you know, slapped a uh, the same texture I used for the tiny, uh, the tiny house from the demo. Um, now, when it comes to, as you can see, I can just walk through the walls here. I don't actually have to walk uh, around this place, but there is a way to go around. Um, the lack of 3D collisions that are built in 
Uh, first of all, you can either go with some really advanced GML math um, equations in order to figure out where all the vertices are and whether or not they're overlapping, but that's like way, way out of my like expertise, uh, so to speak. But there is a way since technically if we look down, we're still looking at the room editor orientation of the level. So we're still looking from the top, which means that I can actually still use images and collisions with uh, like pixel collisions with images in order to uh, set up that the, there's a wall over here, there's a wall over there, you know, I can't get up over here, but I can get out over here. And you can also see that I'm not actually stepping up uh, when I'm entering the, the building. So that little ledge over there, it doesn't matter. Like I'm still on the same exact level, which is another thing um, that you have to, f you know, consider when you make a game. But even though that is the case, I think I can still use Game Maker Studio to make a 3D game. Um, and in fact, there is one game uh, in my library of projects that would actually fit this. Um, the setting very quite nicely even though I can't have real-time shadows or I can't have uh, like um, dynamic shadows and ray tracing uh, built into the function so I'd have to like dive way deep into the uh, the creation of shaders outside and, and using external libraries and DLLs I can still make a 3d game uh, for example I can use actual physical character sprites instead of um, 3D models and I still have the model the world in 3D so essentially all the buildings all the trees all the rocks all the roads would actually be in 3D but the actual player if we're talking like a third person game would be in 2D uh, now the benefit of still um, sticking to Game Maker Studio for 3D game project is that you don't have to learn um, C++ or Unreal Engine blueprints uh, or making like a huge convoluted game using Unreal Engine blueprints uh, in Unreal Engine or Unity or CryEngine. Uh, so it, it's a benefit of the fact that you can still use GML to make a 3D game. There's just some sacrifices you have to make but then again uh, if you're smart about game development you can turn your uh, disadvantages into advantages and uh, you know still come up with a nice game so uh, I'm gonna consider uh, Game Maker Studio for my one of my 3d game projects uh, considering that you know everything there is to this game can be in 2d uh, there is actually like if I'm gonna actually back out of this uh, oh, and here's the model. As you can see here, the artifacts where the uh, the normals aren't quite facing this the right way. But as you saw in the actual game project, it appeared just fine. Now, one thing is there are some lighting effects. Uh, like there's the directional light, which is supposed to simulate the sunlight. Uh, and the directional light essentially could be used as... Uh, a, uh, a mechanic for defining size of the object so that the object doesn't look so flat and it, it gets applied to all of the objects in the game which automatically gives you some sort of shadows it doesn't give you shadows casting but it gives you shadows that define where's the light side uh, where's the light source and where's the uh, the shadow on an object um, and I know that uh, it was Let's see, it was somewhere around, oh, come on, here we go, it was somewhere around here, it was, here we go, the, uh, uh, I can set the fog to black, by the way, if I wanted to speak of like a darkness kind of thing, but anyways, here's the ambience, which is hue, saturation, and value, and I want the ambience to actually be around like 20, uh, the value of of 20 which goes from the value of 0 to 250 something 225 or 255 I think 255 probably maybe let's find out press F1 open up the manual um, uh, come on 
No. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, let's see. Where is this thing? This one? No. This one? No. This one? Yes. Okay. Um, this is where I changed. Ah, God damn it. Here we go. This is where I changed the uh, the dark uh, the darkness of the side to 20. As you can see, here we go. So you do have directional light, which you know says okay, this these two sides are dark. These two sides are light. But then again, as you can see, since there is no ray tracing, you can't you can see the light inside of the uh, inside of the building, which is kind of not uh, not good, but you can see where the light hits an object and where the light uh, where the object is in the shadow um, roughly now this would be fine I'd say if you're only really looking at the outside um, outside objects or outside um, of the objects which means that this would be good for like a top down or not top down but third person like aerial view game like uh, Factorio for example. Now, Factorio is made in, uh, it is a 2D game, it just uses rendered 3D images um, that are just you know animated sprites that were animated in the 3D program. Um, but in this case uh, it's viable, it's doable. Um, if I really wanted to have uh, 3D like full-on shadows, good lighting, I will still have to go with Unreal this is doable like this already kind of looks interesting if I have like my hands tied so to speak uh, and I can't use anything but Game Maker Studio sure you know I, I can probably pull off uh, pull off a game in 3D with you know just working with what I got sometimes working with what you got actually gets you quite a lot um, because uh, you know you have to kind of um, you know your limits and you can work around them let me see if I can change that to C black so uh, it's it's good uh, it's it's good that it has the uh, features but there's there's the only thing is there's so many things that Unreal Engine just does automatically like automatic collisions and collision generating uh, generation and collision checks like here I just set the fog to black which actually you know kinda looks pretty nice um, I had fog set to gray which you know basically gives you that silent hellish look um, I mean this even right now like, you can see that there's a hole here so you're kinda thinking okay that light kind of makes sense because there's a huge hole here so the light goes in but you know if you go over here that kind of stops making sense and if, if I uh, change the direction of the light and it shines over there you know then that's when you really start missing the real life shadow uh, real-time shadow so uh, until Game Maker Studio gets those features um, I can still stick to Unreal Engine for uh, 3D games but you know this as I said this was just a proof of concept just making sure that everything works all right um, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, you guys can check out the link down in the description, uh, which um, has a link of the best ways you can contribute to this channel, which is my music. Uh, you can purchase my music on pretty much any online music store um, and support this channel. Support making uh, more tutorials and the development of my games, of course. I'll see you guys. Uh, see you guys next time.